Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, whoever you may be. Um, Brother Shapaya coming at you again with another quick little lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All praises on and glory be unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, Psalms chapter 9. We're just going to dive straight into it, man. <clears throat> I will praise thee, O Yahweh, with my whole heart, and I will show forth all thy marvelous works. Which that goes into prophesying, man. Because how are we going to show what the Lord did? Or hey, We have to speak about the things he did and the things he's going to do. All right? Because King David was a prophet. Verse 2. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. It shows you that the name is actually important. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and, present, and perish at thy presence. Too, the Lord said that hey, every eye on earth gonna see him, man. All right. Hey, they, it, it was called the strangeness of our salvation. These people are gonna be terrified, man. Verse four, for thou hast maintained my right in my cause. Thou saidest in the throne, judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. And thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. And this is a prophecy because who name is going to get put out forever and ever? Esau, Edom. Right? And this proves that the Lord don't deal with the heathens. He just said he rebuked the heathen. All right? Verse 6. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end. And thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. Hey, and the Lord's getting ready to um, <laughs> judge you nations. Hey, these curses is already getting lifted, lifted up off us and put on you. It says, <clears throat> but Yahweh shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. And he shall minister judgment to, to people in up, uh, uprightness. All right, because it is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's the perfect judges, man. Who Yahweh Shai got it from? The perfect judge. The most high. All right, the ancient of days, man. That's where Yahweh Shai got his whole mindset from. All right, and the Lord is allowing, hey, it says Yahweh committed all judgment into the son. So best believe the son is coming with the same judgment uh, that the father has. All right, hey, he says me and my father are one. All right. It says, verse 9, Yahweh also will be a refuge for the oppressed. Who's that? Jacob. And really more importantly, the, uh, the elective Jacob. A refuge in the times of troubles. What are we entering, brothers? Jacob's trouble. And they that know thy name, who? And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, O Yahweh. For thou, Yahweh, it's like you. For thou, Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Hey, what does Sirach 2 says? When have anybody ever called a, 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 upon the Lord? Uh, well, when, when have any of the righteous ever called upon the Lord and he forsaken, forsaken them? Never. Never. The Lord is a strong tower, especially in these times, man. All right? Verse 11. Sing praises to Yahweh, which dwelleth in Zion, and declare, uh, and declare among the people, his doings. Going back to verse one, declaring his marvelous works, which are a part of these prophecies, which includes prophesying. That's how we declare them, man. Okay? So, it's evident that you need to be preaching. It's evident that you need to be doing the work. And that's just a side note. Verse, uh, verse 12. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. So though we came in certain lies and was murdered or trodden down by whoever fucking did it, the Lord never forgot about that. Matter of fact, we're going to math. Man, let me get it. Let me get it. The 
Luke 11 to 51. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altars in the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall, it shall be required of this ge uh, generation. So what did the Lord say in Psalms 9? He said, when he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgiveth not the cry of the humble. All right? So the Lord is going to make you motherfuckers pay. And the Lord is holding the grudge all the way from Abel. Th think about that, man. Think about that. Verse 13. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me. Right? And that's not only fucking Esau. All right? That's these other heathens and Jake's as well, man. All right? Thou hast lifted me up. From the gates of death, that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion, and I will rejoice in thy salvation. And we do show forth all the praises uh, uh, of Yahweh in the gates. All right, where do we go? The highways and the byways, in the broad places, the gates, the agora. All right. Now, you know, for a lot of camps. You know, they got this little quarantine and this little social. We, we can't go outside because some camps are just too fucking big. All right. So, hey, we, we've been linking up at, at houses, doing videos on Saturdays. The thing, the key, the key thing is we're still doing this work. We're still preaching. All right. Shit. Uh, I guess uh, the gates we own now is the, the Dale gates or whatever fucking computer. Shit. The gates of the Internet, you know. Um. Verse 15, the heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made and the net which they hid is their own foot taken, which hey, which was said in, uh, I believe, Psalms, the seventh chapter. Verse, yeah, Psalm 7, 15, he made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch which he has made. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. All right. The same, same thing that was just said right here. Verse 15, the heathen are sunk down in the pent that they made in the net which they hid is their own foot taken. Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own head, hand. Hagion, uh, Hagion Shalah. Actually, I, I want to look that up. Is that Psalms 19 and 16? Hold on. Psalms 19 and 16. Psalms 19. I mean, nah. A sixteen. Not Proverbs, so like your songs. Nah. Sixteen. I just want to see what this word Hagion means. Don't know a word, brothers, look it up. Meditation. It says uh meditation, resounding music, musing, meditation, plotting, thinking, things of that nature. Uh, a murmuring sound. All right. So now let's go back to this. Because Shalai basically is the same thing. <laughs> Ponder upon it. Think about what was just said, man. All right. It says, uh, verse 17, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget <laughs> Yahweh. Which, hey, that's hey, that's all you nations except the elect of Israel. The Lord's about to get ready to fuck you heathens up, man. All right? And, and that includes you jakes because each tribe is considered a nation. And a lot of you two-thirds forgot Yahweh. All right? Um, verse 18. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The, exp the expectation uh, of the poor shall not perish forever. Because we're looking... The expectation we're looking for is getting saved and salvation. And what did the Lord say? He said the needy should not always be forgotten. The Lord ain't forgotten about us. The Lord ain't going to forsake his people. He for damn sure ain't going to forsake his elect. All right? Arise. Um, arise, O Yahweh. Let not man prevail. Let not heathen be judged. Uh, Salakia. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight, man. All right, so uh, hey, why do the heathen rage and imagine the vain thing? Y'all ain't going to be here forever. Y'all ain't about to rule the earth forever, man. All right? That's why it says, let not, hey, let not men, let not uh, uh, men, you know, the children of men or Esau, all right, prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. P 
Put them in fear, O Yahweh, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Shalah. And that's exactly what they are. They ain't gods like us. We cut from a different stone, man. All right. Well, we are the Alahayim. All right. These, these other people, they just men. They just fucking flesh and bone, man. Men. All right. And Esau is a fucking man, too. He's just a, a, a high level demon, man. That's it. That's fucking it, man. Esau thinks he's God, but he he's going to find out that he ain't. And that's why that. Hey, what's that? Is that Psalms? Um, is that Isaiah 47 or Isaiah 63? He said, I will not meet thee as a man. You guys are going to know there's levels to this shit. All right. Hey, if you ever watch Matilda, there's, there's a scene when De Danny DeVito tells him, Matilda, I'm big, you're small. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you could do about it. That's how your how about Shimei Al-Shai is going to show up, man. I'm on God mode and you niggas are fucking mortals. All right. So with that, hey, I, hey, I pray this was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makar Kadash. Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, whoever he may be. Abide, Babal.